Hi and welcome to Fiddlerman.com. Today I'd like to teach you how to use the drones I have on my website. You go to the menu, Fiddlerman.com, go to the menu and go directly under learning tools. All the way in the bottom you'll find drones. Now you have several options. You can just, if, you're, if your computer has speakers connected to it that are loud enough for you and good enough quality, just turn that on. And if you have the option on your player, if you have a QuickTime player or something, and you could just choose repeat so that the note goes on and on as long as you need to fix your notes when you're listening to this. And you can also right click on the file, save it on your computer and transfer it to an MP3 player. I'm using my iPhone right now. I transferred it over to my iPhone and I chose repeat on my iPhone. So I have an A drone going on right here in my right ear. It's better in your right ear. If you have two, just leave the left one out. That way it's not interfering with your fiddle. So obviously the first thing, you take the A major and you tune your violin. After you tune your violin, you want to start with an A natural, for example, if you're playing an A drone as I am now. If you play soft enough, you'll be able to focus on the note that you're hearing. You can start a little below the note if you don't hear if it's right or not. When you hit the right note, the note's going to stop vibrating so much, it's going to smooth out and it's not going to clash. So you're going to hear a perfect match. If you don't hear it still, go a little higher and then back down again. Now, once you've found the right note, try to reinforce it, you know, put the memory on, on your left hand and memorize the feeling that you have when it's right. Lift your fingers, wiggle them around. Do it again. Do it as many times as you need to to reinforce the correct note. And then go on to the next note, for example. You can just play the B, lift your finger up, put it back down again. You know, wiggle your finger. Or you can go back and forth between the first and second. What you're doing is you're reinforcing finger patterns, correct patterns. So what you want to do is focus really well on what you're hearing. This was also is also going to teach you to be a fantastic chamber music player. It's going to teach you to listen to what the others are doing and try to match their intonation. This is what being a musician is all about. So you could do a three octave scale if you want. You can do it slow, you can do it a little faster. You should do it all different ways. But... So no vibrato when you're practicing this exercise because what you want to do is reinforce uh, proper, correct finger patterns in your left hand and uh, you can use this drone or these drones with any piece you're working with as well. If you're playing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, it's in D major, you choose the D drone, start on the D or whatever. You can use it for more advanced pieces as well, obviously. You can use it for etudes. And once again, it's going to train you to listen, focus, and to play in tune. Thank you for visiting Fiddler Man.